am so excited and ready to film this video. I'm filming it on my cell phone and it's super not normal for me. I usually film on my camera, but I know I need to like free up space on my camera and I haven't imported all the footage onto my computer yet. So rather than fighting with my camera, I thought I would just film it on my phone. Also the quality of this camera on my phone is amazing, but the screen is right here and I don't have a viewfinder. So if you see me constantly looking at the screen instead of looking at you, I apologize, but it's super weird. I'm just looking at a dot and I need to see if it's okay. But the last of my Sephora orders came in. There was three of them during the Sephora sale and the shipping just took forever, which I understand we're in a pandemic and all of that, but I have been online shopping at many different retailers and Sephora by far the longest shipping. But I thought it would be really fun to do like an unboxing slash get ready. A lot of these products um, are new, so I thought it would be fun to do like first impressions on camera with you guys. Maybe give you like my, you know, initial thoughts on them. Some of these products are my tried and true, so you'll just see me reviewing them. But I thought it would be fun to just do like a live demo, get ready, chat, have this be ca <coughs> casual and fun while I incorporate a Sephora haul. I have a whole new setup here, which I'm really excited about. I have this fancy ring light tripod thing. I'll link it down below. This is gonna be great for stories too because I don't have to prop up my phone. I'm at like a little desk in my room, a little area. If, if the logistics of the background and the lighting are not perfect, I will work on it. Let's jump into this. So first thing I got were these two masks from Dr. Jart. Dr. Jart makes the best rubber face masks. Cryo rubber with moisturizing hyaluronic acid. I love Dr. Jart's peel off masks. They are my favorite. They're the only peel off mask that I have tried and I have tried a lot that does not wax my face when I'm peeling it off. It's actually like a really pleasant experience. So I got the hyaluronic acid and of course the brightening vitamin C. I was done with the Sephora sales purchases and then this was in an email from Sephora that they were introducing them new so of course I had to do one more order and sidebar I did kind of cheat a little bit and I have tried out I think three of these products because I just could not wait um, but I will give you like my first thoughts on them um, and I'm not gonna wet this one because I already have a damp beauty blender ready to go but I did pick up a new beauty blender the hot yellow one. I thought it was more of like an uh, electric fluorescent yellow on the website. That's what it looked like, but it's more of a yellow, which is fine. I always, always need new beauty blenders. I always um, replace them. I picked up a new um, <clears throat> Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Lip Pop. I love this thing. Addie and I both have these. It's a lip balm, the packaging is super cute. It gives you like the perfect pink pout. So I'm gonna put some on now, just as a moisturizer. And it smells and probably, I'm not gonna taste it, but it has a watermelon scent. And it's very, 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 very hydrating. So I got another one of those. Picked up another Laura Mercier Translucent Set Powder. This I just keep a backup of. So anytime it's on sale, I always pick up a new one. Oh, so this one, this was another like add-on to my order. Uh, because on my Instagram, somebody sent me this by Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe is a really nice brand. It's a brand that I haven't really dove into, but I love their face spray and their overnight mask I've tried. Their normal like face lotion I wasn't crazy about, but they came out with this new Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. You can see I have already dove into this and I really love this. So I use this as a toner after I cleanse my face on my Shiseido cotton. It just helps to remove any excess makeup or dirt that your cleanser didn't get and it also balances your pH in your skin which is super important. This is a really cool product. It has like a jelly consistency when you put it on a cotton. It kind of like balls up instead of sinks in and then when you wipe it on your face it, it's very slippery but it eventually like absorbs and it feels very cooling and it's really nice and it has that amazing scent that all of their products do. If you hear Leo dance downstairs wrangling the boys. So I really like this and the bottle is glass, which is really nice. The one thing about filming on your camera is when the light goes crazy, you can't do anything about it. Okay, so let's dive in. I picked up, this is another product that I already tried. This is the Charlotte Tilbury 
Airbrush Flawless Foundation, and I was super excited about this foundation. So many people recommended it. I've seen so, so many people talk about this foundation, love this foundation. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Charlotte Tilbury products. I have so many of them. So I was really excited to try this. However, I'm not blown away. I do think I have the wrong shade. I ended up going with number six, Warm Shod, Chad. The packaging is beautiful, but it did oxidize a little bit on me, and I don't know. I just, I compare it to my Dermablend Smooth Camo because that is my holy grail, and I didn't love it as much, but I'm gonna put it on so you can see it. Problem now with this pandemic and online shopping and stores being closed is you can't just go in and like exchange your foundation shade. You have to ship it back, wait for the credit or wait for the refund, buy your new, it's like a process. I'm gonna put some primer on. This is the Murad Hydration Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. This has SPF 30. If you missed me talking about this on my Instagram, this is the best pour, what do we call? Disappearing pour primer I've ever tried. Primers, different primers do different things. Some hydrate, some prep your face, some of them fill in your pores. I got a sample of this in my Sephora Sun Safety Kit and I was completely blown away. Um, I'm trying to figure out the packaging. Yep, that's a really cool packaging so that pop pops off. Um, it's basically like a little silicone and it just, watch the shine disappear. If you have a lot of pores, my, my most pores are right in here throughout. I also have some in between my eyebrows, um, but you saw the shine I had up here. That's gone. The one foundation that I really love is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. Um, I love that foundation. The problem I always have with it is as soon as I put it on, you can like instantly see my pores. So I tried that foundation with this and it was like, it was crazy, the results. So it is a pricier primer, um, but it is magic. So I was so, so excited to get a full size of this one. Before I go in with the foundation, I also picked up the Tarte Corrector, the light medium. I use this for like any um, blotches or I used to have like really bad melasma lines. So I just have gotten into the habit of using this underneath my foundation. It just helps to like neutralize my skin. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on those hard to cover spots. Before I had this back, I was just using concealer, like a lighter, different concealer underneath, just to mask those. I've got my mirror here if I'm looking down. Um, I have a scar up on my head from Bentley chucking a book over the steps at me. <laughs> Mom life. So I just like to put this on. It just helps any foundation that you're using just go on more evenly. All right, and I don't really blend it in. I also have darkness there. I don't really blend it in. I just blot it. All right, foundation time. Here we go. I'll show it to you. It does have a beautiful pump. Um, one pump is usually all I do to start, and I just kind of dab it on my face. This is definitely too dark for me, but it's fine for right now. I mean, it'll just at least show you the coverage that it gives. I mean, straight away, it's it has a very pretty finish to the skin, and it does cover. But I feel like it's way too orange for me. This is again the problem. I would never order foundation online unless it was one that I've used before, and I know my color. But I did the Sephora Shade Finder that they have online and I put in like my NARS Sheer Glow color and my Makeup Forever color and this is the color that they matched me with and it's not a match. It's a little too dark. Do you guys see how pretty this lip balm is though? If 
feel like it just gradually gets prettier. It has like a, it's a balm. I mean, it feels like a balm, but it looks like a gloss. Okay, so typically I would like a little bit more coverage than this. So I'm gonna just add a little bit more. Now we're making smoothies, just because I can still see some of the spots that I work hard to cover. Um, this foundation brush is amazing if you don't have it. Well, there we go like I said all new still trying to figure it out that is so much better now you can see my skin but now you're gonna get this nice thing that my phone does with the light can't can't win here okay so that's hopefully giving you a better look at the foundation it has a very pretty finish to the skin I would say it's a e It's a very dewy finish. It's very glowy. Um, this is my light. This is not oil, but you can just see kind of the glow that it gives. So it is a very pretty finish and I like it, but it's definitely a little bit too dark for me. Um, it actually is okay right now, but like I said, the last few times that I've worn it, it oxidized on my skin and it just became too dark. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. I did not pick up a concealer from the Sephora sale because this one is only sold at Ulta. The Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. This is a Sonia Kashuk um, blender sponge. And I love it because it's huge and it's bouncy so it covers quickly. I don't have time for technical difficulties, okay? Phone. setting powder I usually just do it under my eyes um, I don't feel like I need to set this foundation I like the finish that it gives and I wouldn't want to matte it down so we'll just leave that on to set what else is in this box I got a new eyeshadow palette, which I have not purchased an eyeshadow palette in years, thanks to my lash extension. So this one is the, don't even know the name of it, stand by please, Charlotte Tilbury Darling Look, I think, Darling Look. It's small and compact, which I love, and the colors are stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I got this palette because my friend Jen, um, L&M, was showing this on her Instagram stories. And her eyeshadow is always so pretty, so I picked it up. All right, so I'm using this shimmery color here over my eyes. The one thing I really loved about eyelash extensions is I didn't need to do anything to my eyes. Like, I would just wake up, do my face, skin be good to go. I didn't have, you know, you don't always have time to do your eye makeup, especially as a busy mom, but pandemic and not having lash extensions, I've really been enjoying doing some eye makeup. Um, before I go in with colors, I'm going to just throw a little bit of my bronzer in the crease. I like doing this because I feel like it makes it easier to transition and blend colors. That's good. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. I'm going to take this matte one. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I'm always using like an orangey shade in my crease. I just feel like my shade, my colors, my skin, hair, eyes look best with the orangies the oranges, the orange colors, um, and 
bring out my eyes. This, these shadows are beautiful. They're blending so easily. Um, I'm probably not going to use the shimmery ones just because I would probably use those more so like on my eyes, but I am, I'll actually, I'll go in with this. Um, hmm, do I want to, do I not want to, what do I want to do? This is like a little bit deeper than this is the one that I just used. Um, so I'm going to put a teeny tiny bit of this one mixed with the darkest one and we'll go right in this like outer corner. I love our house, but it's a very open concept. And because of that, you can hear everything that goes on. So if you're hearing like all the background noise that I'm hearing right now, oh my gosh, I hope it's not distracting. This palette is beautiful, 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 beautiful. If you guys are in the market, need a new eyeshadow palette, wow. Um, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this, <laughs> this one under my brows as a highlight and then I'm going to take a liner brush in the darkest color and use this as liner on my top eyelid instead of oh my gosh Bentley instead of black I just like that to smoke it out more yes who's there is that my Benny yeah. You want to say hi? Yeah. Say hi. Yeah. Hey. Can you shut mommy's door? Because I can hear Papa on the phone. Um, I'm also going to take a little bit underneath of these two matte shades blended and just do a little bit underneath for some liner underneath there. I like smoking it out. What, bud? I want to You want to sit with me? Yeah, yeah. You can't, buddy. I'm putting. I'm making a video quick. I'm putting my makeup on, and then I'll come down and we can play. Okay. Can I take a sip of this? Yes, you can take a sip of this. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna hold it, or you don't have it. I'm gonna hold it. Did you have some of Papa's? No. Where's some more? Good? Okay. This palette's beautiful. I don't regret it. We're not buying palettes like an entire year. A couple years. I'm very excited to have that. Okay. What is next? What is next? I'm jumping all around here. All right, I guess we'll finish up with the eyes. Um, I tried, I got the Urban Decay Subversion Volumizing Lash Primer. I picked this up because my friend Ashley raves about it. And I also got the oh, Superhero Mommy. Mascara from It Cosmetics. This Mommy. was my tried and true Mommy. before lash extension. Okay. I have already curled my eyelashes. I curled it before. I um, started filming, but I'm gonna put some of this primer on and we'll, we will see how I like it. I have two other primers that I'm trying at the moment. One's from Lash Sense and the other one is from Grande Lash. I love the one from Lash Sense. I'm not crazy about the one from Grande Lash, but I do really like this brush. This is like a typical mascara brush. I've been using the new lash, which is a lash serum at night to help get my lashes back and it's amazing. I mean, I used that lash serum for years before lash extensions and it makes such a difference. My lashes are in amazing shape. They are long, they are voluminous. It's like I never had lash extensions. Like they're not damaged by any means from them. Okay, and then Superhero Mascara, like I said, is my holy grail. This was the only mascara I used to use before I had lash extensions. I love the brush on it. Mascara is funny. I feel like you really 
need to give it some get some air in there not like leave it open or leave it out but you really need to let it set for a couple days before you really love the mascara I feel like the first couple times you use a brand new mascara I'm always like mm, yes I have missed this this mascara is amazing I'm being honest with you guys too I get this question a lot are you gonna get lash extensions again when everything opens up I don't know if I'm gonna rush back to get lash extensions I feel like my nail appointments yes I miss them I miss my manicures and pedicures so bad never thought I would say that about the manicures because I've always said like I love having my nails done but I do not enjoy the process of getting my nails done I put press-ons the red aspen press-ons right now if you're curious the pedicures I don't get them often like maybe once a month more so more frequently in the summer like maybe twice a month but um I haven't had a pedicure <laughs> since our trip to Mexico so I am desperate for a pedicure miss my nail appointments my brow waxes I miss it so much I've just been tweezing but I can't say that I am like crazy missing my lash extensions I crazy miss my lash girl Steph um my lash she's like amazing and I always look forward to our appointments we have become quite close and I miss her I miss seeing her and I loved having my lash extensions, but I've really been enjoying wearing mascara. I've really been enjoying putting eye makeup on, trying new mascaras, trying new primers. Um, thanks to this new lash serum, like my lashes are in amazing shape. So it's just been really nice. Like, oh, and the other thing that I don't miss is not being able to just itch the sh out of my eyes. Like when I have an itch, I can just, can scrub it I can wash my face and wet everything in the shower so I don't know I never get lash extensions again no I probably will but right now um, that's not gonna be one of the first appointments I make I wait to do my um, lashes on the bottom before I sweep away this stuff I'm gonna put on my bronzer this is another purchase because of my friend Jen she shared this I think on the same Instagram is where she shared the eyeshadow palette. This is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I have her highlight wand and I'm always super weird and sketch like scared of liquid or like cream bronzers because I feel like it can just if you mess up it could tend to look muddy on your face. I've never been a fan even though I've tried of the sticks like the cream stick bronzer contour sticks. Um, forgot you have to turn this. But she used this and swears by it and she made it look really easy. So we're gonna we're gonna give this a go. I've been dying to try this, but I really wanted to give you like a good first impression. So I'm gonna just dab a do like where I would put my bronzer just a little bit and then we'll blend and see see how it goes from there um what brush do I want to even use I'm gonna use this little brush or do I want to use my other one I think I'm gonna use this one this is a, a foundation brush that I've used yesterday so it's not well that was easy wow wow so easy not streaky it blends in and looks like skin. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is awesome. That was so easy. And it's really nice. Like you can definitely tell that you have bronzer on. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Go down my nose sometimes I do that to just slenderize it when I mentioned that I was getting this so many people said that it's amazing and I'll love it and you were right I love cream products in the spring and summer because I don't like looking like I'm wearing powder feeling like I'm wearing powder the translucent set powder is so light um, so it doesn't really feel like anything but if I can avoid like a powder bronzer Wow, 
really pretty very easy to work with which I was super nervous about but I like that a lot um, okay another product that I got I can show you is from Buxom it's their Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush, and I did this shade Seychelle. Seychelle-y? Seychelles. Um, this actually looks like a bronzer, but it does have a slight pink tint to it. This is probably the best. Yeah, that's a very good true read of the color. And that's why I bought this color. I like, I like colors that are just like one color, you know, two for one. Ars Madly is that. Um, Tarte Exposed is that. So, it's a really pretty color. It has like a satiny finish. I thought this would go really nice as a two for one product, like a bronzer and a blush. Yeah, that's pretty. On lighter skin this will definitely show more pink on darker skin it would probably show more of a bronze but I like it all right I'm gonna just pop on my tried and true highlight my modern mercury and be done with the face so speaking of appointments that I will be making when quarantine is over and things start opening up in PA again I'm gonna try Botox I have been wanting to try Botox, but obviously couldn't because breastfeeding, pregnant. Um, but we are done breastfeeding, and I am just so curious and so wanting to try it. I, you see, like, this foundation in between just, I don't know. I don't love this foundation. As I was saying, Botox. So, I've been wanting to get it. Mostly as, like, a preventative. I'm definitely going to do it here. I don't have, like, crazy indented lines, and you really only see it when I do that. But just as a preventative so that this doesn't get worse. These do not bother me. These do not bother me. Um, the only other place that I have been really wanting to get it where it does bother me is my marionette lines. This is just something. It's a trait in my family. We all have My grandmother, my yaya, has it. Addie has it. I have it. They're just very deep deep mar marionette lines and um I don't want to be putting like fillers or anything in my face although I feel like that could help I've talked about this before this um this thing with you guys um in other I forget I forget if it was on videos or Instagram I've shared this my like thing that makes me self-conscious I don't like it I think Botox might be something worth trying just because it's not as drastic as fillers. I don't want to put fillers in my face. I don't like fillers. But if you get fillers, please be careful with them. I feel like everybody, every time I see somebody else get fillers on my Instagram, they end up looking like the other person that I just scrolled down from. Like it, everybody starts to look the same. Don't do that to yourself. Like all these beautiful girls, influencers, I'm like, you're so beautiful. Why did you do that to yourself? So I'm not interested in changing how my face looks or plumping or filling. I just want these to maybe be a little bit less defined um, because it's just something that's always bothered me. And the lines, yeah, I don't, nobody wants lines. But um, I feel like the things that normal people put Botox on their face, like their 11s and their crow's feet, I really like those and I don't want to change them. The crow's feet, I don't know why, they, they just don't, they've never bothered me. Yes, Botox will be something that I make an appointment for when this is all over. I'm gonna just quick fill in my brows because I got a new Gimme Brow from Benefit. This is a brow pencil from Ever. It's just like the Anastasia one. Also never be getting my lips done. That's one thing I can promise you. You'll never see me with lip injections. I don't care how good the person is that's doing it. I just don't trust it. And that's one thing, like, I would be devastated if they ended up looking different. And right, and like now there, there's so many ways that you can change your lips by overdrawing them, using plumping glosses, like the way that you use your lip products, there's just ways, you know, to plump them. I've never been insecure about my lips. I mean, if people keep getting lip injections, yeah, mine are going to look like teeny tiny little things, but that's another thing where I'm like, I'll scroll, be scrolling my feed, and I'm like, 
What did she do? Why did she do that? I mean, I get it. Like, I would never judge anybody for getting anything done. Like, you do you. I, I'm not living inside your body. I don't know your struggles. I would never judge you. If you're self-conscious of something, like, yeah, fix it. Do whatever you need to do to, to like, make yourself feel better about it. But the people that just completely distort their face, to me, that's just sad that you're not, like, happy with how you, like, your God-given looks, you know? It just makes me sad when I see. And, like, the other piece and part of it is that everybody starts to look the same. Like, everybody literally starts to look the same, and it drives me crazy. Okay, what else do we have to do here? Um, what else is here? Like, give me brow. I'm going to just run this through. And I ended up getting the two-pack. This was a... Um, give me volumizing gel and gel volumizer. So I think they're both the same. Just one is like a travel size and one's the normal size. Yeah, full size and a free mini. So the mini is cute for travel, although this is perfectly a fine size for travel. Um, this is the shade, did I get shade three? Why did I do that? No, I didn't get shade three. They sent me the wrong shade. Darn it! Um, I always get shade five. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to return this. I'll go get my other one that I have in my bathroom. I'll do that at the end. This is, this video is running on really long. I got two products from Gucci. Got sucked in. Look how cute this packaging is. They have a whole line of makeup now. Packaging is beautiful. And I did the shade 201, the Painted Veil. It's very, very pretty. I already messed up the tip of it. It's moisturizing, hydrating. And just a really nice neutral, like, brown. So that is beautiful. I also got this, which is their multi-use gel gloss. I tried a little bit last night on my lips. This was the last package that came. Like, this huge box and this was inside. Um, again, the packaging is just so pretty. So it's like, it literally is like a clear gloss. And you can use it on your lips. You can use it to highlight your face. Um... It has like a super crazy, interesting consistency. Um, it's like sticky, but it's watery at the same time. So I got this mostly just as like a lip balm, like a clear lip gloss, but I will experience, experiment and play around with it, but you can use it all over your face. Last thing to show you that came that I have already dove into that I can't find right now. Here it is. This is the face setting spray. This is the Farsali 24 karat gold infused rose gold skin mist. This is one of those products that I treated myself to a while ago and used it up and I was like, that was crazy. I have so many face sprays. I don't need another one. And even though I do have quite a few face sprays, I have not been able to stop thinking about this one. So I bought another one in the sale. There has, there's gold flex floating around in there. It looks beautiful on your vanity. It smells like candy and it just makes your makeup look beautiful and it sets your makeup. So mm, I love this stuff. It smells so good. I wish that the spray was a little bit finer. I feel like you use a, like you go through a lot of it because it's so con like, it's so direct when you spray it, it doesn't, psh, like I have some face sprays, like one spray could cover my whole face. This one's like more direct, so I have to use a little bit more. But it just like melts everything together, blends everything together, sets it, and it just makes your skin glow and look like has the prettiest finish. So that is everything I have for you. I'm going to rescue my husband because I hear him downstairs with the kids. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this Sephora haul slash get ready slash first impressions, little chit chat. I will link everything below. If you guys have questions about anything, let me know. Keep you posted on the um, foundation. I, at this point, I don't know if I even want to like get another one to try. I recently tried the Ever Skin Foundation and I love it. It's a water-based foundation. I love it so much. Like, even better than this. Like, this is a true foundation. That is a water-based foundation, so it just has such a different consistency. And I love my Smooth Camo so much. 
that I'm like, do I really want to replace this right now? I'm thinking I might just return it, get my money back. And when the Sephora sale, Sephora stores open back up again, I'll go in and get color matched because it's just so hard to order a foundation online. I feel like it's a 50, 50 shot and I could try another shade, but I don't know at this point, I'll let you guys know what I end up doing, but Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if I was looking there. I just caught myself doing it again. I need to figure out a way. Well, normally I film on my camera, so it's not a big deal, but I hope that this was okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.